everyone. Hello. <laughs> I'm back again. Hindi na two years bago ako bumalik ka. Napanindigan ko na to. Today is going to be a little bit of a different video. If you haven't been following me on any other platforms, then you may have noticed something different about me. Uh, I got my first tattoo. And it was a journey. Um, hindi ko talaga siya pinlano gawin. I did vlog the experience. I thought I would film like a little sit down with you guys just to tell you a little bit more about the experience. Kwento ko lang sa inyo kung ano nangyari. So the night before this, may lakad kami ng friends ko. So ito yung first time namin magkita after a long while. So we went to a gig. Yung uwi ko, obviously, gabi na. <laughs> Kasi nga, lumabas kami, nakunood kami ng gig. So I stayed over at my friend OJ's house. And she has been one of my best friends since. Literally, we were like six years old or something. Hindi ko na nga maalala eh. So, di nag-sleepover ako. Kinabukasan, nakong damit pa uwi. So, laban ni Tita Alon, yung mommy ni OJ, yung mga damit ko bago ko muwi. Habang pinapatay yung damit ko, sabi ni OJ sa akin, So, ano yung gusto mong gawin habang nandito ka sa QC. So, ako naman, so time, ganon. Gusto mo po magpatato. <laughs> a little more backstory. We've talked about this a lot. I've always wanted to get a tattoo. I remember being in my room, kaming dalawa, tapos nag-uusap kami, kailan kami magpapatato, ano, ipapatato namin, designs, ganon. It's always been something we wanted to do. I've wanted a tattoo since I was like 18 years old, maybe even before that. Because I remember thinking when I was I get a tattoo and I wanted to skydive when I turned 18. And obviously, hindi yun natuloy. <laughs> but that's always been something I wanted to do. I've always been unsure of what to get. And I really wanted to be sure before I got anything done. Because obviously, it's going to be on my skin forever. And then, my dad passed away. And I knew that I wanted to get something by the me of him to keep him with me. It's the same thing. I wanted to get it done. And... I was sure that I wanted to get it done, but I wasn't sure about the design. I wanted to get a lighthouse. I wanted to get birds. Lighthouse, I wanted to get that to represent my dad. But it doesn't really feel right because I want something that represents him and not just something that I want to represent him, if that makes any sense. I want something that's part of him, part of his personality. And a lighthouse doesn't really feel right to do because it has nothing to do with him. I mean, I could make it like, okay, you know, what it represents to him, but I want it to be a part of his um, life, you know. So I didn't end up going through with the lighthouse. And then, um, my mom passed away. Obviously, I wanted to get something for her. For some reason, this time, it just felt right. So I didn't really think about it before getting the tattoo. I was like, I want a tattoo. G? Sabi sa akin ni Audrey, G! Obviously, nasa QC ako, so kailangan the same day kami magpapatatoo. And not a lot of shops do that. Some of them are only by appointment. So, swertihan na lang talaga kung makakakuha ka ng walk-in. Eh, di nagtawag kami sa mga tattoo shop. We found one. Ang bilis ng pangyayari, no? So, I had to come up with the design that I wanted. Kasi, we were booked. I just googled rose tattoo. That was it. It felt right. 100% sure I was gonna get a rose because it was just perfect for my mom because it was her favorite flower. Everything she owned had red roses and bag niya. Wallet niya may design ng rose. Valentine's Day, birthday, she always wanted just red roses. She didn't like any other flowers. She just wanted roses. Another thing that I had to consider, which was why I hesitated getting a tattoo that symbolized my dad, because most of the things that we think about that are associated with him, I wasn't really sure would translate well on the skin. Let me tell you about the stuff that I associate with my dad. Movies, food, and guns. Movies, I wasn't really sure what to get. Film camera, I, I considered getting like a movie ticket. I don't think that translates well on my skin. Food, again, I, I'm not sure that I would want like a fried chicken tattooed on my body. <laughs> the gun, again, I'm not I'm, I'm not sold on the idea of having a gun on my skin. So I'm still finding ideas and hopefully I do find one soon. Because 
I really want to get one for him. Rose is something very beautiful. It's something that I'm super, super okay with having on my skin for the rest of my life. I thought rose perfect. Ito na yun. So I just had to find a bag that I liked. Okay, I wanted like a realistic ish but kind of soft looking rose. I found one and we were ready to go to our appointment. So another thing that's really funny about this whole situation and why it felt like it was really meant to be, everything just kind of fell into place. We had an appointment. The tattoo artist that we booked, I actually had no idea that this was what happened until after. So the tattoo shop that we went to was Empire. They were the only ones that had a walk-in. And I mean, there were other factors that we considered. We obviously considered the art style, reliability of the shop. We decided to go for Empire. And when we got there, the tattoo artist's name was Atan. My friend had a tattoo that I really liked. And I asked him who did it for him. And he said, Atan. So I followed Atan. And then siya pala yung gumawa ng tattoo for now. But I, I had no idea until after when we asked for his name. So when we got there, we had to wait a while. Um, it was okay. We had all the time in the world. We ate shawarma. And I think it was actually for the better that we did that. Because when we got there, obviously it's nerve-wracking getting your first tattoo. And it was an impulsive decision. There were second thoughts. Inanto na kami, wala nang bawian, but at the same time, la, gagawin ba talaga namin to? We had to wait for a long time. So those nerves slowly started to just calm down and go away. And yung feeling na, wait na lang kaya ako, back up na lang kaya ako dito. Hindi udi siyang nawala until it just, everything just kind of settled. Nagshawarma na kami, we're ready to go, ready, born ready, ganorn. Kuya Atan arrived and he started Know, asking us about tattoos that we wanted. So we got fitted and nilagay niya na yung sticky pencil. So I went first because my tattoo was a little bit more detailed. It was gonna take a little bit longer. Surprisingly, it wasn't that painful. Ayan lang pala siya. Papunta pa lang tayo sa exciting part. So may mga parts na kapag na-DNI, medyo masakit. But for the most part, it was just like, imagine if you took a ball pen and wrote on your skin. Press a little bit harder and that's what it feels like. Some parts, I didn't really feel. Baka naman manhid lang ako. May mga ano? May mga parts na kumaramdaman. Manhid siya. Tapos may mga part na mas masakit. Mayroon na namang part na walang sakit. So maririnig nyo dun sa clip na sabi namin, ah, hindi siya masakit, but wala akong maramdaman gano'n. Sabi ni Kuya Atan, hindi nga talaga masakit yung ganitong klaseng tattoo kasi maliit lang siya. So it took like 30 minutes for mine to get done. It was super quick. There, there's a little bit of detail in this, although it is small. So si OJ, yung tattoo niya, very minimalist. For each tattoo, I think it took two or five minutes. So yung feeling immediately after, it was a little bit more painful than getting the actual tattoo. Super thick. Galing-galing ni Kuya, super gaanang kamay. Or baka manhit lang talaga kami. Let me tell you about what happened after and what I did the first few weeks that I got it. I wanted to wait until my tattoo fully healed to do this video so that I could show you guys what it looks like when it's fully healed. So the first few days, really sore, mahapdi siya, masakit. Iwasan niya talaga, mahawakan siya, mahawakan ng ibang tao. I actually wasn't very good at that. Please do not do what I did. <laughs> Did I really do anything to take care of it? So I did wash it twice a day with just like a gentle unscented soap. You have to be really careful and clean it so that it doesn't get infected. As far as moisturizers and things that you put on after it, I didn't really do that. I did what they call like dry healing, I think. Sorry if mali yung mga terms ko, pero nakita ko lang siya sa YouTube din. Nagkaharap ako ng how to heal your tattoo, ganyan. So I just let it do its thing, let it scab over, heal itself. I didn't really put any creams or anything on it. And I think it turned out okay. How long did it take to heal? After three weeks, healed na siya sa akin. The first week, sugat pa siya, masakit pa siya. And then the second week, medyo nag-scab over na siya. 
So, hindi na siya may masakit masyado. Medyo nangangati na siya the third week. Like, alam niyo yung brown na stab pag nagkasugat ka, ganun yung itsura niya. Hindi talaga siya maganda. In the middle of the week, as the scab actually peels, do not peel off your scab, ha? I actually accidentally peeled off a part of my tattoo just because, you know, I'm clumsy. Or ano yung ginagawa ko sa bupay ko. Tamaan siya, ganun. And it kind of faded some of the tattoo. Hayaan nyo lang akong magturo sa inyo ng pagkakamali ko para hindi nyo na ulitin. So, by the end of the third week, nawala na nga yung lahat ng scabs. It's still a little bit itchy. It's still a little bit tight feeling and very faded yung itsura niya. But it looks so much better. And mukha na talaga siyang tattoo. The color will gradually gain vibrance and saturation as it fully heals sa fourth week. But the third week, okay na siya. Mukha na siyang tattoo. Pwede mo na siyang ipakita sa mga tao. The fourth week is really where it's at. Kasi yun na yung vibrance na nandun na. Ito mo na yung details. Hindi na siya tight looking. So, kasi sa third week, once the scab peels off, it's kind of shiny looking. So, parang fake yung itsura niya. Maganda na talaga siya tignan. The question is, would I get another tattoo? Yes, definitely. I, I really enjoyed the experience of getting my first tattoo. And I like the idea of having art on my body and something that represents a certain aspect of my life. I definitely wouldn't get a tattoo that has no meaning. I want to get a tattoo that's a part of me and represents me. The next tattoo that I will get, I want it to be for my dad, but I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to come up with an idea that I I really love before my next tattoo session. I do have a design that I really want to get. So yeah, I'm definitely getting more tattoos. Hindi ako magiging, you know, tattoo addict, I don't think. Hindi man ako magkakaroon ng sleeve or anything. I just want like small tattoos that represent um, meaningful things in my life. Thank you for coming with me on this crazy journey. Um, whenever I get my next tattoo, I will definitely take you guys with me as well. If you have got a tattoo of your own, if you want to get a tattoo, let me know what it is. Comment down below what tattoo you would want and why you want it. What it means to you. I find that so interesting. So now you know what this rose means to me. And it means a lot to me. It's actually been a big help ever since I got it. To say, whenever I'm alone, I would just look at it and it would remind me of my mom. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!